Blog Talk Radio. Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome to the show. I decided to go ahead and do our Mayday Mayday, and this is our breakthrough series on codependency and breaking bad habits and the need for approval. I want to start out the show on a good note and everything else and make sure that we have everything presented to you guys professionally and on time. So we're here, we're here, we're here. I wanted to give you guys a couple minutes to get in here in the room, and then we can get this party started. So with that being said, let's talk about codependency. This is one of the mechanisms that a lot of us have, and we don't think we do until something happens and we're just like, oh, my God, I can't believe that there's a level and depth of me being codependent on people for approval. And I will tell people all the time that codependency is not a healthy thing to do. And then as a coach and as your coach today, CC, I want you guys to understand with Talk Radio Diva, we have these conversations to go shed light on these different things that we all do. And then on top of that, I want you guys to understand how important it is and imperative it is to be uh, what we call open-minded and willing to have these conversations. And having these conversations means that we have to have the power to do more and talk more and open the Pandora's box for that. You may book your online appointments at DonDivaCoaching.com, IMCC.com, and TeamWorld.online or TalkRadioDiva.com for your actual shows and doing interviews and things like that. And that's just the power to do more. And that's Talk Radio Diva. A live call in is 404. 404- 382-0307, that's the alternate line. And you may also call in at 515-602-9765. And again, like I told you guys, I like to make sure that every time we got everything on point. So with that being said, I want to make sure that everything's good to go for you all. So cash up, love offerings are dollar sign, I am Susie Coaching, dollar sign, Don Diva Coaching, dollar sign, Team World Online, Talk Radio Diva, and with Talk Radio Diva, the power to do more, you may log on to www.talkradiodiva.com if you want to do a monthly donation for the expansion of the business and things like that. So I just want to let you guys know about all of that. So with that being said, let's go ahead and bring this one down right quick and go from there. So I'm your coach, your life coach, CC, and I wanted to talk about codependency and self-love, and we're getting into module six, and I want you guys to understand how important it is to not be codependent on other people and their approval, and also doing breakthroughs this month, and this Mayday, Mayday, breakthrough month of doing and changing habits. We are going to talk about levels and depth of being awesome sauce and being in your own light and authenticity. And part of that is not being like anybody else but yourself and accepting the fact that not everybody's going to like you. There's some people who are going to just hate you because you're just good at what you do. There's going to be some people who are just nasty or just dead behind wrong. So with that being said, we're going to talk about this in our seminar today and go over codependency and the reason why it's so important not to be codependent. And when we say we have to survive a level of uh, codependency, meaning you have to be dedicated in understanding the meaning behind suffering and despair, and then you also need to understand the level of self-development and change that has to happen when it comes down to that. So I want you guys to understand how important that is. And then on top of that, to make sure that we understand that there's a level of rather ignoring the desperate attempts and other people to get you to go and conform to what they want you to do. You have to get to a point that you understand it, and you understand it from that viewpoint. Just one moment. I'm making sure everything's good to go. What's the sound? There shouldn't be any problems. I already did testing, but I want to make sure we're good. It seems to be a little bit of a delay and lag. And that's normal with IT and the stuff that needs to be happening. And there's going to be a level of um, intervention being done offline and going to court over that. I told you guys what's been going on for a very long time. Very disruptive to my life, and I'm absolutely at the point of nuclear tired of this. And the IT specialist doing it will be going to jail. I will be pressing the charges from Liverpool International and L.A. and also New Orleans and as well as New York where it's coming from and Nevada. And the same people who have been doing this, I think Rock, C, and several others, including Sean Corey, Carter, and then several others. I want to play these narcissistic games every single time. And the Liverpool white knock, I don't like. And he knows I don't like him. So the despicable answers are getting old, and I've made it clear that I've been tired of it. And the wealthy, well-connected billionaire knocks for the DC he's looking for with the lawsuit. And then on top of that, there's a miserable narcissist in Atlanta that likes to play narcissistic games. She'll be going straight to a prison cell, and B, up there in New York, will be getting an issue she's looking for with a lawsuit in a cease and desist order. And LA will be getting a lawsuit at the network, and that's the own network for my FedEx and my 
and they will be getting prosecuted, and there's going to be lawsuits against each and every last party. So I want you guys to understand exactly what I've been dealing with on a regular basis. So the levels of lag time is because of tampering with the IT and also the Internet, and there is going to be a lawsuit against the Scammy County Sheriff's Department, Atlanta City Police Department, and the New York Police Department where bees up there and agents reforming and things like that. So there's going to be a level of me putting a level of stoppage to all these antics and this thing because it goes on a regular basis. I've also traced IT strength down to Chicago, so I will be absolutely suing the brakes off them. And then the Ohio State guy and that's the DEA case that has to do with my FedEx is I'll be going to court with each and every last one of them. And they understand that I will be sticking a lawsuit down their throat in the international tort for my FedEx that went over there to Liverpool. So that white narc will be getting the issue he's looking for and then the black narc will be getting the issue he's looking for in his life. I want you guys to understand what it's like to have to deal with a level of narcissistic sociopaths to keep up their BS. And then as a life coach and a wellness coach, it affects my business and my presentation. So I want to make sure that you guys understand that what I've been dealing with is a level of intimate partner dot violence and level some depth of if I find out that um, under duress, I find people work in 2012 for a marriage, that there will be a level of divorce, and I will be divorcing him and cleaning him out financially. He won't have a dime by the time it's all said and done because I'm sick of his everyday antics and his miserable, nasty, narcissistic sister-in-law, B, who likes to play nasty games. I don't like her, and she knows it. And then let me address um, Colin. You said you wanted a stage. You're not going to get any kind of stage. What you will be getting is a cease and desist letter. Your mother will be getting a lawsuit for your son, uh, her son, asking for uh, nudes for my daughter. So not only will you be getting a lawsuit, but you'll get a cease and desist letter, and you will be getting a restraining order, Ms. Colin. So do you want to stage or not? I guarantee you that there's a lot of antics and discernery, and I made it abundantly clear for Task Force Tip and his wife that I'm not playing with him or his miserable kids. And I made it clear that there's going to be levels of lawsuits and restraining orders. And then Keisha Lance Bomb needs to answer for all the bonds that are being sold to Task Force Tip and Killer Mike was on APD. So did you want that stayed again, Ms. Pullen? Or are you going to speak for your parents again? Or are you going to play DevOps antics? I'm just asking. I wanted to make sure this live is going to go well. And I wanted to make sure there's not going to be any more issues. So I hope that you all understand that I'm not playing my FedEx, no CI and Tiny. I don't want them. I don't like Ms. Collins. She wanted to say she wanted to get that paid. You can get that issue you were looking for, Ms. Collins, and I guarantee you're over the age of 18. So like I said, when I get back to Atlanta, there will be an issue you're looking for. So I think you better stop while you're ahead. Anybody else have any questions? Why your little brother asked for news for my daughter? So you tell your miserable mother, duck that point, Miss Piggy, that I'm not playing with you. Does anybody else have any questions about spot chasing, dick riding, and doing all this nasty on professional misconduct, laying abusive device to fan sex? I'm not afraid to call names out. Ms. Bowens, you want to call out chase? Let me tell you something. Why don't you go tell your mother to not go rape kids and adults? Why don't you tell your mother to watch her child instead of asking for news for my daughter? So, Ms. Bowens, do you have anything else to say? You said you wanted to say, I saw the whole notation on there. So does it make it abundantly clear that I'm not playing with any more miserable, nasty industry narcs? Well, I've got a whole industry family, so Ms. Bowens, do you want to pull up? I dare you to because I'll talk to your mother, Tamika. And physical, so like I said, I'm not playing with your mother. I'm not playing with you, Ms. Bowen. So if you want to aid, I'm telling you, come see me. I guarantee you won't get that fade. You'll get that lawsuit issue because if I fade you out, you're going to end up in the hospital. And I'm not playing with you. So I want to make sure that this live goes along professionally, and I'm telling you all that I'm not playing with any celebrities and are miserable kids. That's why I called Ms. Bowen's out. So while you want to call it Chase and Dick Ride for your mother and father, why don't you have your mother watch her son when he's in California and then asking for news for my daughter. I made it abundant list there. I don't like you. I don't like your mother and I don't like your father. So does anybody else have any questions? So let me go ahead with this live. So where were we? So when we talk about suffering and despair, we have levels of narcissism, sociopathy and things like that. And then I told you guys I was going to do that sound check. So I'm going to make sure we get that done and then we're going to get on to the show. I hate distractions like that, but um, I just noticed the lag in the um, live, but now all of a sudden it's back right. So like I said, I don't like these distractions, and so I will be suing AT&T, and I will be suing Cox Cable, and the own network will be getting a lawsuit, and so will um, Colin and her mother and her father. And then on top of that, I want to address another thing. Since there was a live earlier today about that and somebody came on Ms. Bowen's live and asked me about your father raising kids and getting banned and, and trafficking children, why don't you focus on that instead of me? You said you wanted that fade. You can fade your father for all the issues that you have. Or your father, baby father of your child. Now, do you want to keep playing with Bowen's because I'm not the one you want to play with? You go tell your mother that. So let me make sure it sounds good. 
to see every time I get ready to do my presentations, there's always something going on. So at this point in time, I'm addressing who's causing all these issues, and I'm going to handle it with each one. So that means that I'm not going to mention these narcs that much, but the Liverpool narc and some of the issues looking for, because my FedEx went over there with my cell phone, and then he went over there unlawfully, illegally, and stole my phone up there in Atlanta. I was told all about that. And then the antics up there in Norcross and his suite when I was in the hotel homeless, and we'll go into school get my bachelor's degree. So you guys understand why there's a level of calmness here, but a level of nuclear upset, and you can guarantee that they're all going to get the issue and lawsuits that they're looking for. Let's make sure we're good to go. Test. Testing the sound. So... There's no sound on the end of Twitter. Let me make sure there's not any issues. Just I'm not playing any more games. Yes, yeah, so it sounds fine. So, um, hello. Testing, testing. Okay. So there's no issues with the sound. So it's definitely Twitter with the shadow ban. So I will be absolutely going to break off of Twitter. I'm not playing any more games. So Ivy Tarak will be getting there. She's looking for Ranger C6 and Jack Patrick Dorsey will be getting off. So he's looking for I told you I'm not playing any more games. I want you guys to say it for yourself. Now you see that I'm not playing about the issues with the phone. And I told you all I wasn't going to play any more games with Jack Patrick Dorsey. I'm ready to go to court with social media. And Jay-Z is actually the one that's got the business deal with Jack Patrick Dorsey. And my FedEx is related to Jay-Z and Beyonce. So, like I said, I'm not going through this anymore. I'm ready to go to court over every last bit of these egregious misconduct and abuse the device of DevOps and tech. So, I made it abundantly clear that there is going to be lawsuits. There is going to be restraining orders. And there's several perpetrators, multi perpetrators, that will be going to court with me. And then on top of that, there's going to be a level layer of understanding this gross misconduct. Something went wrong again later. So it looks like there's an issue with Parker and the moral misconduct. So did I not make it clear that, that I would be going to court over this? Did I not make it clear that I would sue the Berkshaw on social media because you're feeding my presentation? Did I not make it clear that there's a lot of DevOps issues in Antics and Dev over there and DevOps needs to be fired? Did I not make it clear to Ranger T6 and Ivy to rock over at Council C22 that once you fired, walked out, and handcuffed? Because so, Ivy Turok, you're the same one that asked for news for my daughter. Then on top of that, y'all want to play all these nasty narcissistic games. And Ranger T6, you have the same MOS as Jason, uh, not Jason, but Jonathan David Ellison, my FedEx that went over there to Liverpool, and so did Jason Ryan Crassie. So did I not make it abundantly clear that these antics and the provokings and the gaslightings are not going to work out as well for anybody? So the Liverpool narc that Royce Rothschild that played in my face about my federal records that are sealed, so I made it abundantly clear that my FedEx is going to court and I will be spending the breaks off of y'all, y'all, because I'm not going through this anymore and I'm not scared of you and I don't like being toyed with. Can I not make it abundantly clear? I want y'all to see exactly what kind of manipulative, nice, mean, narcissistic antics that they keep up. And since Jay-Z has the backdoor um, deal with Jack Patrick Dorsey, that explains Tina Lawson and their backdoor deal and everything else that they had, playing these nasty, narco games, and then I forgot that I had Sprint, and then the deal with Title and Sprint. So now y'all understand that I'm ready to go to court over all of this. And the intimate partner boss and the provoking, aggravating antics. Can y'all hear me now? I want y'all to see exactly what's going on with it. I want y'all to see exactly how far Zach Patrick Dorsey is going. He thought it's the best shadow ban because he's a backdoor deal to square cash out with Jay-Z being the actual uh, shareholder on that. So those backdoor deals need to be undone, and the SEC needs to investigate federally and civilly sue them. And then on top of that, undo that deal. So it's just funny to play these nasty games. You got the nasty price you were looking for. And my FedEx is John David Allison, uh, Joe Nathan, Jay Reed, Ken Petty, Ken Copeland, who's married to Nicki Minaj, the same girl as what Nika Dalabarge Petty, the slut that actually married my FedEx, John, who went to the own network. That's why I said I'm ready to go to court over all of it. So when I'm being shadow banned on here and then the local police department, the sheriff's department, he's by Zeke, pretty Zeke, Zeke, Allison on the BMS places and whatnot that John David Allison asked me about, and I had to Google it. I'm ready to go to court over all of this. So let me disconnect Periscope and let me go back in. I told you I'm not going through this anymore. Spent every bit of 18 minutes and wasted time because of DevOps antics. Now you see why they were going to be sued.
Can you hear me? So we're on the second part of this live, and you should be able to hear it. But obviously there's an issue. Either it's an issue with Google or it's an issue with Periscope Twitter. And then Tina Lawson is the one who made the fake accounts, the bot accounts, all over Twitter. And not only is Tina Lawson a miserable sociopath and a pathological liar, she's one of the only nasty daughter, the slutty vegan up there in New York B, the ones that's doing the IP DevOps. I made it clear that I'm going to make sure that it's those support. So we're going to still do this presentation. We're still going to do this live. And then the signal that's being messed with here on the other hand, I want you guys to understand exactly what's happening with this. I've got a hidden network sitting on here, and then the own network nasty, miserable, fat sow, Oprah Winfrey, the one that had my FedExes over there, that had Uzziah Peak Alpha and his DEA. I'm ready to go over every last bit of these antics and buffoonery because you see the signal is sitting right. I want you all to understand why I don't want these sick old cow. Because not only did my FedExes go over there to the own network, but John David Allison, Uzziah Zeke, pretty Zeke, Zeke Allison is the one who went to the own network. I told y'all that I'm ready to go to court with John David Allison, who's Kenneth Petty, Kenneth Copeland, John Avery, J. Reed, Joe Nathan. And I'm ready to go to court with Nikki Minaj, the same slut that called my phone in 2010. And I told you Beyonce, Giselle, Noel Carter is her um, homegirl. And I made it clear that I'm ready to go to court over all the last degree just levels of hidden network, antics, the buffoonery, and the local police department, and something that I even lost with one that was running his mouth. And then T.S. Madison, man, 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 whore that was going on my police record. I want to go over every last bit of these egregious misconduct, abusive devices, antics, and the Liverpool white narc who's going to get the issues looking for. Because I trace the IT strength over there to Liverpool. So not only am I going to see the brave off of Roy Z. Rothschild, I'm going to make sure that he understands that I'm not playing with this miserable, nasty narc guy. Then on top of that, the levels of playing in my face and playing in federal records that are sealed, that bloody garage Betty did and her husband, John David Allison, Kenneth Petty, Kenneth Copeland, under witness protection, the DEA informant that was over the cases from uh, – 2007, 2008, that they turned into cartel, and that's Beyonce, Giselle, Noel Carter, and Sean Corey Carter. I want you guys to understand that this hidden network is what's using my uh, Wi-Fi. And I told you I don't like being provoked and gaslit. I don't like being irritated and aggravated. And I don't like being narcissistically abused. And then Ivy Tarak is the one at Council C-22 with Ranger C-6 at Aspen is my daughter. That's the 2017-2018. I'm ready to go to court over every last bit of this. The Scammy County Sheriff's Department will be getting a lawsuit, and so will do Scammy County as well as the city of Pensacola. And then on top of that, the city of Atlanta will be getting a lawsuit, and Keisha Lance Spot will be getting a lawsuit. Task Force Tip knows John David Allison, Jay Reed, Joe Nathan, Kenneth Petty, Kenneth Copeland. The same one that went and skipped down went over there to England with his slut wife, Nicki Minaj, the whore that called my phone. I want you guys to understand exactly what I've had to go through and what I've continued to go through and the DevOps antics that were happening because of the own network. And the hidden network is also traced out to L.A. So I'm ready to go to court over every last bit of this, and I spent the whole 21 minutes, 52 seconds, of sitting up here having to deal with DevOps IT issues. So not only will I be doing the breaks off of the social media platform, but there will be levels in depth of lawsuits with Twitter. There will be lawsuits with Facebook and Periscope. There will be lawsuits against Jack Patrick Dorsey for the habitual level of torment from a gaslight on the DevOps IT end. And then on top of that, there will be a level and layer of inquiry, and I'll be asking the FCC, FCC, and the FCC and the FCC to find him and then civilly sue him and break up his corporation act and be walked out in handcuffs, federally, civilly sued. I want you all to understand that no matter what, I'm still going to go on and show my so on. Something's wrong. Try again later. So it looks like I wasn't lying about all these antics and buffoonery. So it looks like there's a level of narcissistic, sociopathic, DevOps antics. And then on top of that, the fat, nasty, lard behind, disgusting, miserable, sociopath that I was living in the same house with and who rendered me homeless will be going to court. Me, Sean, Alan Whitfield will be going to court. I will be suing the break off the miserable, musty, nasty, lard ass. And I mean that I'm ready to go to court with them. And I told you all that C.J. Evans, and he lied to me about his identity, and I'm ready to go to court over every last bit of that. So now that it's playing 504 Red 88, that's on my live on um, Periscope Twitter. And then on top of that, I told you about the Ohio State Carlos Ellie, who was hired by the own network, and that's the DEA uh, district attorney. So I made it clear that I'm ready to go to court over all of this, and I'm ready to go to court because they're disrupting my presentations every single time. Then on top of that, I have to go through this level of, of irritation, aggravation, and then on top of that provocation. And also people heard me call um, AT&T and also heard me call Cop Cable over the last couple of years about these IT antics and whatnot. So I am ready to see the break off of task for this. It's horrible wife that was out in California who had her son with blonde hair, miserable, nasty, narcissistic old turd that uh, she raised and failed to raise right. So task force kept um, daughter, Johnny Valencia, that wanted to get that fade. You can get that issue you were looking for in a federal court, civil court. And if you even come up and run up on me, you will get that fade. I will box you for it. 
I want you to understand that I don't like you. I don't like your mother. I don't like Miss Piggy. I don't like Candy Bird, the snake that was over there at Bravo. And then on top of that, John David Alf and his daddy also went over there to the Bravo. So Andy Cohen is also the IC specialist over there that's playing all these games. And Liar Cohen is actually on the IBEA cases that were in 2007, 2008. That's me. Nicki Minaj's homegirl, B, was on, and Daisy were on. So I've been hitting a button with Larry, how far John David Allison has ruined my life. And then on top of that, Jay Reed, Jonathan, Nathan, Joe Nathan, uh, Slutney Capetti's husband that sat here and played in my face and whatnot, and went to networks like Bravo, and then VH1, Love and Hip Flop, and Katrina Taylor, his cousin, Sean Taylor's sister, that, the one that died. Sean Taylor. Mm-hmm. So I want you guys to understand exactly where this is coming from, and the narcissistic fifty fast who will be getting issues that they're looking for in federal court, civil court, county court. And then also I told you guys that the police are paid off, so it's Camby County Police Department, the Sheriff's Department and the Police Department will get in a lawsuit because Mariella Holloway's granddaughter, Diva Holloway, was over there, so that's Officer Holloway up there. And then Carisha Young over there at the police department will be fired, terminated, walked out. Those are the IC antics. And then on top of that, I want you guys to know that how corrupt the city of Pensacola is, the city of Atlanta is. I want you guys to know how far the lawsuit is going to be kicked into their face and how far I'm going to do the break off of them so that you guys understand how far this went. This is actually deeper than rap. This actually has to do with Andre Young, and that's actually the situation that was for the DEA cases back when I was born in the mid-'80s, probably when I said Swing Babies. If you go to the ET about the Swing Babies and whatnot, Eminem, that was on my life. I sat there and talked about I disrespected Dre. No, I didn't. I never disrespected Dre. In fact, I have much respect for Dre. So by the time it's all said and done, Anne is the one who did the tape work. So I want you guys to understand how far a lawsuit's going to go. So Royce Rothschild that did that recent song, and he had the Queen of England on his thing, and that was on the doctor's hotel. So if that's okay, the uh, doctors to misdiagnose and misdocument, by the time it's all said and done, it's going to be a federal inquiry, civil inquiry, international sports, and a level of lawsuits across the time, the U.K., London. So by the time it's all said and done, Anne is the one who did the paperwork in the mid-80s, probably then said it's when babies, and I'm that twin baby. So Oprah Winfrey is in the picture with Trump. That is what explains all that. So there's not going to be any more provoking gaslighting, DevOps antics, and provoking and irritating and pissing me off. It's not going to be any more of this. So by the time it's all said and done, then we can get criminal investigation international sorts filed for the royal family and their trafficking of two kids, which we are those two kids. And then Andre Young and Anne can explain that in a criminal court, civil court, county court. And then on top of that, DEA cases from 91, 93, 94, 96. And then on top of that, John David Allison's father was on those DEA cases from 94, 96. And he's ex-BIA. So by the time it's all said and done, I'm ready for a court and I'm ready for war with all of them. So I made it abundantly clear how far this went. Since they like trafficking kids and playing all these nasty art games and things like that, I'm ready to go to court over all of that. And since somebody came on my Twitter live talking about, oh, uh, you had to be um, adopted for your protection and things like that and whatnot, so let's go to court over all of that. And by the time it's all said and done, all the disruptions to my lives, all the disruptions to my presentations, and if I find out under uh, under a level and layer of duress that I signed paperwork in 2012, 2013 for marriage, I want a divorce and I want one now and running my money. I get out of my face. And by the time it's all said and done, I will be suing the Lakeview Center for the punitive psychiatry provoking gaslighting crap in the city and county. And the county will be getting a lawsuit, federal civil inquiry. And then on top of that, the Lakeview Center actually had a contract with DCNF. And DCNF was HRS or for HR2, uh, uh, DCNF for the Department of Children and Families. So I'm ready to the breaks off of them. I'm ready for a level of lawsuit and layers of punitive damages to be paid to me and my family, my adopted family, and by the time said and done, a level of lawsuit. And then there will be a level and layer of how far I will sue social media for allowing Tina Lawson and her backdoor deals with Jay Z, which is her son in law, and John David Allison's uh, uncle in law from Michelle and Whore that he married. So that's Gigi, Gianna Avery Allison. So you know John Avery, Kenneth Kenneth Copeland is the same person. So I'm ready to sue the breaks of all, for all of them. And I told you I'm not going through this anymore. So I have a lot of these different things with the IT strings and whatnot. I want you guys to see the other network here. I want you guys to see everything that I'm dealing with while we're live. And then on top of that, while I'll be doing a car presentation in just one moment, I want you all to see what I have to deal with. Honolulu may RC with a warrant and a lawsuit. Her brother knows how to do IT, and her, her brother is actually one in the 96 case, Tucci. I want you guys to see this. Hold on just a moment. Let me get this background down. So you guys can see exactly what I'm dealing with. Because when I tell you that I'm fed up with this, I'm fed up with the narcissistic ending. And I'm tired of being provoked and gaslit. Okay. I'll get it off of here. It says Alula, 04E628, 
Thompson Wi-Fi, AT&T 7X, SAPG, Netgear 04, it's actually Netgear 73, and pretty flat for a Wi-Fi, and then hidden network. I want you guys to understand what I've been dealing with, with all of this. You see that? Netgear 04, pretty flat for a Wi-Fi and the hidden network. I want you guys to see how far I had to deal with this. And the provoking and the gaslight and the BS. So there will be a level and layer of warrants and lawsuits, international federal lawsuits and civil lawsuits, and civil inquiry and a federal lawsuit against each party that's involved in all the DevOps antics. So, Ms. Pullen, she said you wanted that thing. I want Bonnie Pullen to understand that I don't like the whore of a mother. I don't like her because of the miserable slut played about my house, my back bedroom, my house unlawfully wired by John David Allison, who was actually a grand husband as an intern. So by the time she'll said that, Ms. Piggy will be getting a lawsuit and her husband. And the DEA F- uh, ATF task force tip will be getting lawsuits for threatening, provoking, and gaslighting and using his horrible wife to do that. So, Zonnie Pullen, do you have anything else to say that you want in the face? You can come see me in my office. You can get that face. Anybody else have any questions? Because your little brother asked for news for my daughter. If you don't want me to fade you up and box you to sleep, I suggest you not threaten me again. Have I made it abundantly clear? Have I made it abundantly clear to all you social media cat stars, clout stars? I'm not playing any more games. Because when y'all do this and you mess up my life, and then you need to understand by the time I divorce this miserable narc, and by the time I get through getting all his money from him and rendering him bankrupt and his stupid and nasty whore of a new wife that he's supposed to be married to technically in California, there's going to be a level of law and the lawsuits, and then the LAPD is going to get the lawsuit issue they really were looking for. So by the time Agent uh, Ken Petty, Kenneth Copeland, John Avery, J. Reed, Joe Nathan, so I was married to Rachel Farmer, Missy Farmer Reed's people, and these DEA cases from 91, 93, 94, 96, and then on top of that, 2007, 2008 for the cartel cases. By the time I tear your behind up, John David Allison, Ken Sanders, Ken Copeland, Jay Reed, Joe Nathan, the same one that was at Grand Hustle, will be getting the issue he's looking for. He'll be getting the lawsuits and warrants he's looking for, and he'll be spending time in prison, and his wife will be a baby mama. Never made it clear that she's not technically a wife because Sasha Banks from uh, WWE came down here messing with me and calling Miss Petty. I'm not Miss Petty. I never have been Miss Petty. So by the time I get through with all of y'all and y'all understand what it means not to play this industry nasty narc game, I don't like being toyed with. I don't like being played with. I don't like being pissed off, and I don't like being gaslit. And the fat, lard ass over there in Atlanta, Sean Allen Whitfield, is getting the issue that he's looking for for the IT antics for 2017. Amanda, let it be known that you were one that did the IT antics in Atlanta. So don't think that I'm not ready to sue the brakes off your fat, lard ass, because I'm tired of you. I don't like you. The reason why I'm turned off by you and no longer love you is because you're a miserable sociopath, a disgusting psychopath, and a pathological liar. And you sat there and lied to me in my face. Would I risk my job? Yeah, you would, you lying sack of shit. I don't like you. I cannot stand you. Your mother, Faith Evans, is a whore and a stupid crack whore and a miserable slut. You haven't made it abundantly clear since you said you were going back out to L.A. You go out to L.A. where you're sleeping with Aunt Barbie and go to hell. Aunt Barbie from Atlanta that fell in love with the outside dick from Atlanta. I want everybody to understand exactly what I've been dealing with with this smarmy, fat lard ass. I normally don't fat shame, but this bad body, disgusting, musty, disgusting, miserable, out of order, trifling, IT specialist has tried me one too many times and played in my face. Well, he will pull on his fat lard ass for days. He sat there and lied in my face. That's the reason why I'm going in on his big ass. Then on top of that, you played in my face. You look just like Biggie Smalls. So by the time I tear your fat ass up, you miserable narc, that you're going to jail. Then on top of that, Beyonce, Giselle, Noel Carter, Gianna uh, Avery Allison, star love that sat there on YouTube. Beyonce, man, I don't give a damn as shit breath. Beyonce, Giselle, Carter, Noel, Michelle, piece of shit, bloody half-sister, can go straight to hell. And I mean it. Jay-Z is the whole brother-in-law and that heavy sticker, and you had that dog on Twitter on at ETV News with Colin Kaepernick. That explains all your lovers with the NFL, you ass. Now, I made it abundantly clear of sticker, y'all. Then when Matthew Knowles drove by my house in that Lincoln car, the champagne color Lincoln car, and then Tasha transferring the TVs on Nicki Minaj's payroll, and she sat there and did Storm Monroe, who's Bradley Elbert Child, the one I went to high school. So it's Icky Garbage Teddy that did the EP high school. And then on top of that, Sucker Free. And Jason used to tell me, say Sucker Free, keep it off my face. And same Jason Ryan Grassy that went to the own network. Now you understand why I don't have any respect for the fat, lard ass bitch. I don't normally act like this, but when I get provoked and gaslit and I'm tired of reacting to the same manipulative, nasty narc hole, the disgusting, miserable Canadian narc, the miserable Liverpool asshole narc, Royce Rothschild, who played in my face about all this shit, 
Then you understand that I'm sick and tired of a billionaire asshole white man and a billionaire disgusting, miserable, shitty Canadian narc and a damn sorry ass Armenian dick trampoline who's on the DEA case from 94 96. That's the Kardashian West group. Who was, and John was the actual security over there. So I made it abundantly clear how far I don't like this industry asshole. I'm sick of it. Now, I'm not going to make it abundantly clear how far it's going to go in lawsuits for the IT antics. Because not only did you mess up my life, but y'all do this on a regular basis. I want everybody to know on Facebook why my life is like this. I want everybody to know on YouTube why my life ends up like this. Because a miserable, wealthy, well-connected, billionaire asshole, white narc, what if you watch child, and a jerk fuckery, and then on top of that, John A. David Allison, Kenneth Copeland, Kenneth Petty is the same one that went over there and talked to the miserable asshole. Then on top of that, my phone ended up in Liverpool, England. So does it make it abundantly clear that I'm not scared of a Rothschild jackass? Or a Canadian bitch-ass narc? Or a fat, lard ass in Atlanta? Or a now skinny, who used to be fat, lard ass, John David Allison with a shit streak to the show. How far? I'm tired of y'all. Because I try to be as professional as I possibly can. And what I'm not going to go through anymore is narcissistic abuse. And I told you sorry assholes and bitches out. I want everybody to understand why I'm using that language. Because I was told all kind of bitches and hoes by the same slut. And the homeboys and homegirls in the industry. Yeah, I'm calling the industry out because I'm sick of their ass. I'm not your sacrificial lamb for your bullshit. Or your damn dumbass cases that y'all had interrupting for the last 30 bucks years. So Andre Young needs to stand for court and so does Ann. The one thing was dumbass daughter. So why do you tell next time you do a video and you want to sit there and talk about Nina, Shug Knight, damn girlfriend, things like that, you want to blame my face and Slutty Garbage Betty wants to blame my face on Twitter about Shug Knight. My sister's nickname is Shug. Mine's Ed. I'm ready to go to war with all y'all about this. Because when I said I was tired of this, I meant I was tired of it. And when a woman's fed up, there's nothing you can do about it. And I said, if you go and mess up another presentation of mine, I'm going to make sure everybody understands exactly how corrupt and full of shit all of y'all are. Or why I'm getting a divorce for intimate partner violence, habitual technology abuses, habitual IT tampering, technology emotional abuse, poor missing, damages to my business model, damages to my brand. Damages, punitive damages that need to be received for the last 10 years that I've been in and out of business because of a miserable, wealthy, fat white ass from Atlanta, a Canadian bitch ass narc, and a wealthy billionaire white narc. If somebody gets on my last time, my billionaire is behind this and tells me he's going to poison my water, have sex with my child underneath, says he's going to sit there and have me killed. I'm not going to be killed. I'm documenting this because I'm fed up with it. I'm not going to understand my voice, Terry. So I can't nobody just sister this as me having a psychological breakdown of that. What I'm doing is I'm going to fight for my life and my right to sue the breaks off the own network. And that musty fat bitch is the one who trafficked these babies. Harder than it says twin babies in the mid-80s. And let me pull it up for you guys to hear that so that this woman can go straight to a jail where she belongs. I don't understand why codependency is important not to have. I don't look for approval for no industry because I don't want to go industry because I don't like assholes in it. Not the bastards and bitches in it, and not a slutty ass whore, a Trinidadian whore who sent somebody down here threatening me. Then on top of that, she's led to be shit breath ass. And I meant what I said. The woman's breath smells like shit. Everybody knows it in the industry, and I'm tired of her. So, Johnny Collins, you said you wanted a fade, then give me that fade because I want to flirt with you and your mother over this. Testing. 
want you guys to see it on all platforms. What's been going on? Because I'll do this every single time I have live. Y'all do this every time I have a live. I'm on every platform trying to see exactly what the problem is because there's no issue with my sound on my end. So while y'all playing your sister game, that's why everybody's getting called out for it. And it's recorded so I can go to court and take it to court and subpoena the hell out of each and every last one of you. Y'all go see exactly what I'm dealing with. I want you to see how far they dug up the interest is going. I want you to see how nasty and narcissistic and pathological abusive they are. If this is funny, play these nasty, disgusting, miserable games, let's go to court over all of it. Because what you don't do is keep on provoking someone and irritating and aggravating them. That's why me and Cop Taylor are going to court. That's why me and at and are going to court. And messing with the sound, audio, visual sound, is unlawful, illegal, and dead behind wrong. So I will be redoing this live in just a moment. But I want everybody to understand exactly why these lives end up like they are. Why they've been like these for months, weeks, and years. Why they continue to get away with everything that they do. To sit there and damage my presentations, do those intimate partner violence. To so Sean Allen Whitfield will be going straight to a prison. So will John David Allison. So will you guys, Zeke, Freaky Zeke Allison on the VMF cases. And then on top of that, Beyonce, Giselle, Nose Carter, who had deal. And then especially the federal and the fraud cases. And the data wire fraud and the issues that they have in federal investigations. And I'm ready to go to court over all of it. I want Marcus Wiley with a warrant and a lawsuit. So let's switch this out. We're going to do this presentation over again, but here's what we're going to do. I'm documenting all the DevOps antics, unlawful illegal social media antics, the shadow banning, the promoting, the gaslighting, the emotional abuse, the tormenting, the DevOps antics, and the billionaire narcs that are involved, including up to a Canadian narc that I don't like and he knows I don't like him, and I can't stand him. Then on top of that, New Orleans. The antics with Corey playing with IT's DevOps strings over there. I'm ready to go to court over all of it. Then you understand that I'm not playing with Pete. I'm not playing with a sporty Zenal Pew. I'm not playing with nobody that knew Jason Ryan Grassy. Who we know Jason Ryan Grassy and John David Elson. The same ones that went over there to the own network. Now, if I made it abundantly clear how far I'm ready to go to court over all this, or does it look like you all crapped and fell in it? And does it look like I'm getting my divorce effective immediately? And you're going to pay me for the years that I've seen it in psychiatry, provoked and gaslit one too many times. I want everybody to know exactly what I've been going through. And this audio is recorded for court, criminal court, county court, civil court, family law court, and to take your behind up and down through it. And since the billionaire white narc and I found out the white boy was getting in my house cutting me with knives, let's go to court over all of it. So if you like playing narcissistic nasty games, I don't care if you are a rock child. I don't like you. I can't stand you. Because you played in my face, and my God self is John David Allison's homeboy, who was stationed in Kansas. So while you're a whole mom and a nasty white knock and a disgusting, just make old soccer box, I don't like you. I want you guys to understand all the provoking and all the gaslighting that goes on. At Stanley County, we'll be getting the lawsuit and employee Mayweather. Since you want to play games, and Melissa wants to talk about how my bed is and whatnot, yeah, my bed is on the floor because Jason broke it. Not only did he strangle me, but he's going to jail for that. His little kids were in my house vandalizing it. So everybody international, national, that was going international overseas talking about white billionaire narc, you can all say that my face and let's go to court. I don't like none of you. Then you don't understand that the old network fat billionaire discussing large Sal, I don't like her. I was never like Oprah Winfrey. I can't stand her. So the Kathleen Hanna over there can get the issue she was looking for. Ava DuVernay, who talked about KG. KG was in those DEA cases that were up there from New York. I'm ready to go to court over all of it. You understand that I hate that woman. And Andre Young can get the issue he's looking for in court. So can Ann. The royal family asshole Ann. Can I make a button with there? So y'all like messing up my life. And I'll do this on a regular basis. And since this guy came on here talking about, oh, there's billionaires involved in this? Yeah, it is. And I'm ready to go to court with each and every last one of them and clean their clock. They don't understand what it means not to keep on messing up my business, my presentation. And the fat lard ass that was up there in Atlanta that rendered me homeless, you can go straight to hell. I should have pressed charge on you when you punched me in my eye with that dog. I can't stand you. And you came to my house and lied in my face. So let's go to court, every last one of you. Don, Beyonce, you don't know Carter, and you came on my live talking about the Carter's going through me, then let's go to court. Oh, 
They should open up every bed of those cases for 30 years back and make sure each and every last person ended up dead behind the Carter Knowles. Do an investigation open up that shit. Yeah, I said it. This is funny, but he's nasty game. Including the girl, Rachel, that ended up dead. Behind fucking her husband. This is funny to play these nasty games with me. You got the nasty bride you were looking for. This is funny for Beyonce to play games and Jay-Z to play games, but they also had deals with Rita Orr, Harvey Weinstein. Then you understand that I'm not playing anymore. So Oprah can explain her apologies and her gatekeeping for Harvey Weinstein and all his great apologies, but he was also, what his name, Wikipedia? The dude that worked for the CIA that went through their records and stuff, got everybody's dossier out in Hollywood? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about coaching some things about ethics. The war closed this out. I'm not some codependent for a life. I'm not codependent for acceptance. And I'm not codependent for anybody's type of nasty narco game. That's done nothing but piss me off. A greasy mess up my business. A wealthy, well connected, disgusting, fat lard ass who lied about his identity. I'm never sorry, disgusting, miserable, disgusting, DEA informant. John David Allison, Kenneth Hattie, Kenneth Stokeland, who's married to a whore, Michelle. His miserable kids. Keanu Avery Allison. And the other little bastard he had. I want you to understand exactly why I'm going in about this. Because there's a thing called ethics. Google it. There's a thing called not bullying someone. There's a thing called not using junior psychiatry psychology. It's a thing called not bullying, harassing someone. It's called not humiliating, tormenting, provoking someone, and gaslighting them. It's also about not having somebody medically misdiagnosed while you fucked them over. This is your life, Coach Cece. And I'm going to tell ass about that. Beyonce, not only are you the one most supposed to be beautiful woman in the world, but you're a nasty ass snake. A non confident, insecure asshole. A sorry bed witch. A trifling, nasty breath, halitosis having, disgusting, insecure broad. Why don't you suck on your cheating ass husband and stop being a mean girl and a fucking asshole? You're a pathological snake and a disgusting sociopath. Why don't you take care of all those bastards you got out there and turn it in? Why don't you play Breeze, baby, from 106 in Park? Where's your 26-year-old daughter from Maryland that seemingly died? Who is a white lady familiar? Like Rihanna Taylor. Y'all like to keep playing with somebody who is not afraid of you or who does not like y'all. Because let me coach you on some ethics. Just because you're a 33rd degree does not mean I can't get on your level and put you down to the first degree. Premeditated, provoking, gaslighting, bullying, harassment, tormenting, emotional abuse, and psychotic behavior. Agreed as well as a misconduct. And since y'all confidential speeches for the FBI, you didn't explain that to everybody else. Because what you don't do is see my messing with somebody, you can say you're less or weaker. I'm not weak, I can't remind you, ass. Y'all make them me being quiet about it so you can get away with what you've done. So that deal with Periscope Twitter needs to be undone. Or the FCC and FCC need to do an investigation and undo it. Then you, Tina Walker, and your disgusting wife just sit there in a jail cell for a violating someone like you have. So y'all, y'all just on my live. Millie, 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 then you can explain John David Austin coming down here, playing my face, me going back to New York and sleeping with a whore who played my face and sent somebody down here threatening me. And 
And as a life coach, I want all y'all to understand what it's like to deal with intimate partner bonds where billionaires and millionaires corrupt sorry assholes who think they're above the law. You want to let Oprah Winfrey so doggone untouchable because she's connected to the Queen of England? Screw me. You wonder who I look like? That sorry ass bed witch. You wonder why I'm going in about all this? Because Trump and all of them need to stand trial. For all of it. Because she's the same woman that I hugged at Piccadilly. And Piccadilly UK Records is over there in the UK right now. JP used to want to work for them. JP is at CIA. I'm not playing. I made it clear that I'm fed up with all this. I want you to understand how emotionally I was destroying this has been. And why I am leaving a man who tried me, who embarrassed me, who humiliated me for fun, sadistically destroyed my life. I want nothing to do with them. Whether you're joking or not, you don't play these type of psychotic games. You do not destroy somebody's life, punitive psychotic to them, and go through the millennia of cases that should have been reopened and investigated. I was supporting in all those cases because I'm here to these ladies in it. You darn skippy, I'm ready to go to court. Because you know what, y'all? All BS aside, I want my life back, and I want my freedom. Let that bogus, disgusting, proactive, patty asshole at the whole network stand top of all her damn dog on committing crimes. Miss Perfect ain't perfect. She's a miserable bed witch and a stupid ass gatekeeper and a dumb ass whore. I got no respect for her because you know what? All these people who tease me on the phone say I look like that cow. I hate that I look like her. But Task Force Chip is the ATF DEA informant from 2007-2008. I'm not playing with Tiny Cottle. I'm not. I'm not playing with Tiny Cottle. You said you want that thing, then come on and see me. Because one thing about it, I'm very professional, and I'm trying my best to be and rise above this. But you know what? I'm going to tell you guys, I'm taking my coaching hat off today. And telling you guys, they got me fucked up. All of them. I need to rock the council C-22. Those kids have to raise rock child's ass. You can kiss my ass, and he can kiss my ass. And I mean that sincerely. Well, if that ex has my phone over there in Liverpool, then that sorry-ass white bastard can sit there and explain it in a federal court, civil court, county court, criminal court, because I'm done fucking with him. And I mean it. And even the Armenian whore, when she was a whole administrative system to Paris Hilton, Nikki Hilton, Rothschild, I'm not going for this shit. Funny about this. Ain't nothing funny about habitually, ritually, habitually abusing someone, but thinking it's funny to sit there and crazy make them and do all this fucked up crap to them. I want everybody to know exactly what happened. And the city of Pittsburgh needs to be humiliated and buried. All of them do. And those from high school who participate in this bull crap and the nasty bus about connecting our game with them, and you want to do all this IT stuff, provoke and gaslight, then let's go to court. I'm not afraid to go to court because I'm telling the truth. Nothing but the truth. And nobody in their right mind would do this abuse of crap to someone, set them up every time, and do all this nasty work to the crap. The only man gives us telling the truth about every last case, every last DEA case from 91, 93, 94, 96, 2007, 2008. 2013-2015. Your only man can I'm calling your asses out. Because y'all won't stop, then guess what? I'm going to make you stop. And you're going to learn what it means not to keep on messing with someone who is not afraid of y'all. Y'all going to fear money, crazy make, lying, provoking, selling, terrorism, and harassment. On the social media, Facebook needs to be sued. Civilly, criminally sued. Because they reported 
appointed to Mark Zuckerberg. I reported this also to Jack Patrick Dorsey. They were written in 2015, and Jack Patrick Dorsey is written in 2016, 2017, 2018. They shouldn't act like they didn't know they did. I want you all to understand why I will be getting a divorce from this miserable sociopath. And when you keep on writing wife on my phone, I don't want to marry you because you tried me on some whole ass shit, and I don't want to be around your goddamn sorry ass. If I find out we're married, I want a goddamn divorce. And I mean, I want it effective immediately. Based on intimate partner violence, emotional abuse, technology abuses, embarrassing me, humiliating me, harassing me, terrorizing me, stalking, aggravated battery, emotional abuse, tormenting, psychological abuse, cheating, psychiatry, and then on top of that, emotional mental health and body property. I want you out of my life on those grounds. I never want to see you again. I want you in a federal court, civil court, county court, criminal court. I want criminal charges put against you. I want nothing to do with you. And no, I don't want no contact with you. And I want you to have contact with my kid. And I will still break off my own family and talk to that. So we have IT background. And if you think I won't, I will. I'm fed up with all of y'all. And I don't want out of this situation by any means. And if anybody's out of the press charge kids one of the family members who got IT background, by the press charge kids anybody from high school, I'm able to do that. I'm not walking down the aisle. I don't want to be married. And like I said, if I find out this for a marriage or for a wedding, I don't want to be in a wedding with you. And if I find out we're already married on the big work that's already forward, I want a divorce and I want one now. I will not marry anybody and I will not officially make it official. I will not go to a wedding. I don't want to be in a wedding dress and I don't want to be a wife. And I that. I want y'all to understand what I've been dealing with with a tampered AC in it, the provoking, the gaslighting, emotional abuse, the tormenting, the gaslighting, the harassment, the constant levels of nasty narcissism, the damages to my house, all the emotional abuse, the tormenting, bullying, feeling anger me out of my house, and all this provoking gaslighting they did in the Stanley County, they also did it in Atlanta. And I'm ready for this miserable, wealthy, large, behind, disgusting, miserable, black turd to go to jail. I'm ready for this wealthy, behind, nasty, narcissistic, sociopathic, pathologically abusive, psychopathic, wealthy, well connected, billionaire, deaf narc, white, liberal narc to get out of my face. Don't ever speak to me again. I want nothing to do with you. I don't want your friendship. I don't want your acquaintanceship. And I don't want your affection. I want you to go away. Then a Canadian miserable narc, I want nothing to do with you. I don't like you. I don't like your game. I don't like your sadistic antics. I was told about it. I do not think you are any type of safe. You're mentally unstable. You're a disgusting sociopath. And I want nothing to do with you. So on top of that, I've been dealing with all of that, y'all. And do you think I want to be codependent on anybody? No, I don't. I never want to be in, uh, dependent on a soul, not one man, and I don't like women at all. I'm heterosexual, and there's not anything a woman can do for me. And then on top of that, Emma, you said something about off-white, off-night. You're not going to off-white, off-night. You're not going to off-me. You're not going to off tilt night We're interrelated. By the time I'll send down Andre Young, we're interrelated. By the time I'll send down, there's going to be lawsuits, restraining orders, and do not contact orders. And don't you ever think about ever speaking to me. I mean it. See everything I'm dealing with with all this? So you can see that it's actually not true. So all this stuff, I'm not get it enough time and enough testing. So you guys can understand that I'm not making this up. They kept this up for a number of years. They've done it for exactly 10 years. I want more from all this free party. I want more from all this against Red Rock, though. I want an international court and a lawsuit against him. I want a restraining order that I can impose. And on top of that, I want one third of each one of the little gold marks in relation to the royal family, no contact. And on top of that, the levels of death are answered to end of the big book for the mid-80s, and said to him, baby, that's what I'm going to pull up for you guys. Okay, I'm going to pull up for you guys. Okay, I'm going to pull up for you guys. The concept provoking, the sound, audio issues, all the antics, I had it. You don't keep playing with someone like this, and you don't keep on doing this egregious damages, and you don't keep on pray, provoking and gaslighting, emotionally abusing and tormenting someone who's only disabled from birth. And this is exactly what kind of nasty, wealthy, narcissistic subjects they are. Also, I hear every bit of it. So sorry, nasty, disgusting, miserable, sussy, bath, and it's your old friend, Eminem, that was on my steps on my talk like a man. And then I said, well, you act like a bitch, I'm going to treat you like one. And sorry, Haley, that was down here. Let's go to court over all of it. Can you hear me now? Okay, so like I told you, it is an issue. 
And it surely is an issue on that side with Periscope Twitter. And Deva, I just proved it. I told you I'm not going through this anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to redo this live. So it looks like you were playing nasty games, Jack. Yet again. This is fun to play these nasty games. And it's a twin baby. And then maybe. So in the audio, it's talking about the cabbage patty dolls. And my first Christmas, we had the cabbage patty dolls. I'm not playing any more damn dumbass games. I told you I'm ready to go to court every, every last bit of these egregious misconduct and abusive devices asshole games. I made it abundantly clear I don't like being provoked and gaslit. I told you I don't like being tormented. I don't like being bullied. I don't like being emotionally tormented and abused by anybody, not even a goddamn industry set of assholes who have me entirely fucked all the way up. I want everybody to know exactly how far these assholes went. I want you guys to know, understand the mid-80s is when I was born. And by the time I signed a lawsuit down there, goddamn throat, Michelle Lowe, and all that, and all the assholes that involved in all this, they can go to hell. I told y'all I'm not going through this. By the time I carry all asses up to court, you'll understand what it means. I'm not afraid of your goddamn ass, because Andre Young is actually my father, you fucking mother on. Then on top of that, Anne's the one who did the goddamn paperwork. Now, if I made it abundantly clear how far it's going to go in lawsuits, damn it. So, yeah, we're twins. You hear that? The cabbage patch dolls? We got those cabbage patch dolls when we were little. So not only was Daddy Santa Claus for my first Christmas, but those cabbage patch dolls we still have with the birth certificate. I'm not playing any more goddamn games. Y'all thought everything was funny. So by the time I tear y'all's asses up for this shit that y'all did, you understand what it means not to play in my face. So, Roy, do you want to play in my face if I said night? Andre and said night know each other. That's why the date works around you, dick. So, does anybody have any questions about all the answers in machinery? There's nothing funny about playing so many federal records that are sealed. I'm not going to be enough dead or ID on a client that's a billionaire. Now, if I made it abundantly clear how far pissed off I am, and I'm calmly telling you all that I'm sick and tired of this industry goddamn fucking shit. So unless you want me to embarrass all y'all and humiliate the hell out of all y'all, I suggest Beyonce Giselle no party get her goddamn fucking life, you bitch. And your damn dumbass brother-in-law, John David Elson, Michelle, your whore of a damn sister-in-law, I mean your your sister, who is actually Jay Z's sister in law, the whore that was fucking David Irby? I suggest your shit breast dumbass get your gathered ass together. Before I'm finished gathering your dumbass. I don't like you, bitch. And I never will. And I'm never going to bow down to your goddamn ass. I don't have to, motherfucker. Jay Z, let me tell your goddamn Campbell looking ass up something. Let me tell you about ethics, you miserable goddamn billionaire, stupid fuck. Not only are you an unethical, immoral, jackass, but you're a sorry, nasty-ass son of a bitch. And don't you ever send your goddamn fucking brother-in-law down here with the fuck shit trying to investigate me for what? There was nothing that came back at all. Because I didn't do shit, you sorry-ass camel. So your niece, Gianna Avery Allison, that was in my house, a little bastard better not come back down here for a fuck our little ass up. I guarantee you I'll choke the little bitch out. She's old enough to know better, so star love on YouTube will be getting sued. You got a deep freaky Zeke Z Allison, the one on the DEA cases, his miserable, horrible ex wife, Monica Summer Allison, all about the team will be getting a lawsuit. 
Now, does that make it a final clear to Miss Pullen for asshole crew, task force tip, and his bloody ass wife? Duck, duck, oink, Miss Piggy? So, Miss Pullen, you said you want to get that face? You're not going to get that goddamn face, you miserable, stupid asshole whore. You better find somebody else to play with. Because what I'm not going to do is play with HP dick trampolines or other piece of shit, dirty ass kids. I want everybody to understand what I've been going through and why they're getting their behinds cussed out. I took off my coach hat for you guys to understand that I'm sick of them fucking up my coach from business. I'm sick and tired of fluffy white knock in Liverpool with his fuckery laying in it. And I'm not scared of his dick ass. He thinks he's untouchable just because you're Jewish and you got that background. Oh, and I forgot the guy down here talking about, oh, I'm Jewish, I'm untouchable, so I'm black Jewish. And guess what? I don't think I'm untouchable. Just like your white ass is an untouchable, you miserable goddamn fucking asshole. I got Jewish elite blood just like you do. Sorry, son of a bitch. We're on the same playing field. Now play with me if you fucking want to. So the Armenian horse that want to play these games and built Cody out of money, you make sure they pay the $400,000 that they owe Cody because they up their numbers and whatnot for the same factory that they got that dry-ass lipstick for them is from China. So while they were playing stupid games with Armenian dick trampolines, owe Cody $400,000. Tasha Trans, Randy Keefe, didn't you have to receive some task force tip until you met with them and things like that? You're also a Nicki Minaj payroll, so you need to understand as a then I'm ready to kick your ass in court. For Marcus Wiley and his antics, follow me on my YouTube. Then I'm talking about Storm Isha, Storm Monroe, who is actually Bradley Elbert's child. And I'm ready to kick his ass in court for talking about my teeth. Then on top of that, talk to you, you talk about Shug. And you did that windmill for Nicki Minaj. By the time I tear your asses up, you'll understand what it means to keep my name out your goddamn mouth. Then I need to play you the audio. How does this have twin babies in the mid-80s? in the Habitat house. And those cabbage patches are also still have the time for each other. And they're trying to keep the goddamn block kids. They're trying to keep the goddamn block kids. They're trying to keep the goddamn block kids. Now you understand why in the hell I'm mad as hell. Dad dad claimed his kids. So does it look like I'm playing? Or does it look like I was telling the truth since day one? And you damn it, asshole, tried to write one. I'm not in the mood for any more shit from you sorry, disgusting, misery-inducing misery assholes, including the fat lard ass that I played in my face with the IT antics and lied to me in my face, including the skinny lard ass that decided that he wanted to play games and marry a Trinidadian whore who was going to the federal records playing my face. But she played without the wrong goddamn record. It wasn't show you, bitch. That was arranged, you stupid whore. I want everybody to understand how far unethical and nasty and out of order and trifling some people are. I want you all to understand that I'm not going through this anymore. I normally don't like to cuss and fuss, and I'm sick and tired of being made a fool out of, and everybody sat here and did all skinny to psychiatry for 10 damn years, and it's cases from 91, 93, 94, 96 that they need to go and open back up, and Jason was on those goddamn cases, and Jonathan's daddy was on those damn cases from 94, 96. Now, for me, I'm abundantly clear how far I'm ready to put my foot on that goddamn neck and get my life back, because I ain't got shit to do with those cases. I just know the people that were involved in them. They ain't got shit to do with me. How would you feel if somebody did that to you and lied on you and made you look like a damn fool? And embarrassed you and humiliated you and did it for years. I got drug out of my house in handcuffs and these clowns were wealthy, well-connected and did all this psychotic shit. I got misdiagnosed because these miserable clowns wanted to get away with all their egregious misconduct and abusive devices crap that they did in the 91, 93, 94, 96, Tropicana, 94, 96. Then on top of that, 2007, 2008, they thought I knew something I knew nothing about. And then I want Ann's ass, and I want her to bring her ass here, bitch. I'm ready to tear your white ass a new one because you're the one who did the big work in the mid-'80s, hotter than a set of twin babies. That's it. And I'm the youngest twin, and I'm the one who's mean. Because they say the little one makes the big one cry. Because I was smaller. 
she used to pick at me. I don't let people bully me. I haven't let nobody bully me since I was one and a half. What the hell makes you think I'm going to let some grown-ass asshole do it to me? I think the Trinidadian war needs to be going and fessing up and paying up, or you can go and get some civil court, county court, criminal court, or you explain you're going over to Chicago with uh, Ryan over there in Chicago. Mm -hmm. You need to explain that and the death threats for my sister and the threats to have that girl go into the military to shoot my sister. I guarantee you I'm ready to mop school with your miserable ass and your stupid-ass husband. My FedEx, Sean David Alton, Jay Reed, Joe Nathan, Slutnika Garbage Betty's married to my FedEx under witness protection. The jaw was broken, reset. That's Kenneth Petty, Kenneth Copeland, John Avery, Joe Nathan. So, Net Hero 4, Net Hero 73 is Net Hero 4, AT&T, XTS, S8. Thompson Wi-Fi, the Hidden Network. I'm also not understand how far they did this. So this one, those in the picture with Donald Trump, can go straight to hell. This visual black bed wench is full of shit. So John David Allison, Kenneth Petty, Ken Copeland is the same person. That's John up there to the far, what would be, my phone's turn around to the left, that would be the far right. Kenneth Petty, Ken Copeland, that is the same person. Nikki Slutty Garbage, Petty, see the shit I've been. I told you I'm not going through this anymore. It's the same one that went to the own network. And this is my cousin, Thurman in Atlanta. I told y'all I'm not going through this damn dumbass shit anymore. I come to tear off ass in the line. You'll understand what it means not to do fucked up shit to me. And then play these nasty little cool games and go to the H1 and do all this production shit that John David Alton and Zazie Alton did. Then he also wants to ball into the same thing for Tammy Burr, off the oint, and her ass is asshole friend. So, Johnny Cohen, kiss my ass. You want to call? I gave you call, you bitch. Way more for somebody else or being a piece of shit, dirty, bad, foul, asshole, period. You said you wanted a fade, then you can get that fade. So, with that being said, I'm going to close out this live because it's been nothing but a dumpster fire shit show. But at least it's documented for federal court, civil court, county court. And I'm going to start this over. Not only am I pissed off, I'm all the way nuclear pissed off. And you can guarantee that he's going to get a civil suit, lawsuit, emotional damages, egregious civil misconduct, and all the things that they did for 10 years. I want more some lawsuits, and I want that sh- that facility shut down, and I want it sold off to a private company. I want that to stop civil suits subsequently because they have to contract with DCNF, and I want the Federal Department of uh, Children and Families, those cases open, and then I want a lawsuit against them. And I want punitive damages for all the emotional abuse, tormenting, and misconduct, and levels of threatening and provoking the gaslight that Tampa County did to me on behalf of a sorry white billionaire dumb bitch and a stupid with family. Now, I made it clear that I'm actually a Windsor. So, Rockchild, I normally don't like cussing you out, and I consider you like a friend and family, but I no longer do. Because of all these egregious misconduct and abusive device antics, and you played my face one too many times about shit that you shouldn't even know about, so my FedEx that was running his mouth telling you my business, I know who the hell told you. So don't ever come around me and don't ever talk to me ever again. You got me fucked up. So by the time it's been done, I don't like people talking about my personal business. I don't like people trying to exploit me, and I don't like somebody playing in my face. So your homeboy, my God, so, is actually the same one that was in the military with John. So by the time it's said and done, you'll understand what it means to play in my face. I was a loyal person to you, but you were disloyal to me and played in my face. So go straight to hell. I want everybody to know exactly how I feel about all of it. I don't like being toured with. I don't like being humiliated. And I don't like being harassed. And I'll be damned if I end up dead behind a classless billionaire black bitch or a sorry white nasty ass royal narc and a sorry asshole, sorry nasty family and a sorry industry connected bunch of idiots that I never want to speak to and see again. And I mean it. 
I want restitution and damages for all of that. And for a husband to sit there and be in a psychiatry as a wife, I want you guys to see a case from Columbia, South Carolina, where a rich white man did his rich white wife and had her punitive misdiagnosed, misdocumented. Then on top of that, the levels of misconduct of lawyers and doctors that were paid off to not take this case. And then when I called still LDF, and I also called levels and layers of Morgan and Morgan for a lawsuit, and they didn't do shit about it, like I told you. And I also called Al Sharpton about this, Ambulance Chase, and that's all bullshit. And Jada Pinkett Smith was in my meeting with Gary Peterson can go straight to hell. He hangs out with the Armenian horse, Chloe Kardashian, and Kim Kardashian. And Kim Kardashian West kids were the ones playing on my phone from Wyoming. I made it clear that I hate them. I made it clear I hate John. He was also their security. Kenneth Petty, Kenneth Copeland, piece of shit. They all told them themselves. Having a wife misdiagnosed is inappropriate. The reason why I was upset earlier is because when I got misdiagnosed, misdocumented, they lied on me, did everything again, false allegations in custody cases, psychologically damaging that things, malicious father syndrome. When a malicious father, uh, a divorcing or divorcing parent, seeks to punish the other parent, sometimes far enough to harm and deprive the children in order to make the other parent look bad, meaning malicious uh, levels of misconduct, malicious father syndrome, malicious parent syndrome, While welfare officials favor mother's batterer and custody battle because money was exchanged. Sabotaging a, a court case to make the mother look bad. To make the mother look like she's aggressive or have signs of aggression when she doesn't. You mean what was done to me? File custody evaluators beliefs about domestic abuse and Office of Justice Programs, Department of Just, Justice. Paperwork states that a wealthy, well-connected parent will sit there and have the other parent who is considered not as wealthy as the other parent have a misdiagnosed. Narcissistic parental alienation. Married to an undiagnosed narcissist. Domestic abuse in marriages. Senior of sex heartbreak in custody cases. Political abuse in psychiatry. Uh, Abusers gaining custody in family courts, cases of serious or of overturn, the Hague International Convention cases where child resided with two countries discussed, where a, a wealthy, well-connected parent will try to have the other parent misdiagnosed, misdocumented. Human rights violations under a court of human rights, ECHR, found in country responsible of the uh, punitive psychiatry of a mother. And have rights to get a punitive psychiatry lawyer and sue the brakes off your sorry ass. Parental alienation syndrome and parental alienation by use of punitive psychiatry. Having the mother misdocumented to, to steal a child. So not only is my baby's father involved in those 91, 93 cases, I'm ready to go to court over all that and terminate his custody. Not only am I ready to go to court because he knows Jason Ryan Grassy. Not only am I ready to go to court because of the case from 9193, but this is egregiously level of misconduct, misdiagnosis, misdocumentation. It's all because of their antics and their buffoners in 9193. I'm ready to go to court over all the political abuse, psychiatry, psychology, failures, intervene, failure to interview, failure to protect me from a miserable, nasty set of narcs, filthy pets who are DEA informants, rat snitches, or others that were involved in cases where they were arrested. So I'm ready to go to court over all of it. Senior psychiatry of a spouse. Spousal emotional abuse as a tort. 
that can be done in the store for tool for intimate relations between genders by uh Alan is psychiatric abuse, emotional abuse, tormenting of a, a patient who has been made psychologically or mentally unstable due to punitive psychiatry. Criminal law, criminally abusive levels of emotional abuse and levels of provoking gaslighting that are used in spousal separation and psychiatric abuse of power, psychiatric abuse of uh uh, of a spouse who is disabled. You may want to search me. Spousal abuse on children and adults. Recognizing partner abuse torts. There are cases in Virginia, Tennessee, Georgia, and Florida. The perceived smart response to pain and suffering can result in punitive damages. A toxic relationship, toxic emotional abuse, emotional abuse, tormenting, gaslighting, provoking, bullying, and sabotaging a custody case or sabotaging the rightful parent. Undermining the partner's parenting, psychological, emotional abuse. Because most of us can make a face off like this day in the last 10 years. And over the last 10 years, they failed to sit there and do anything right. They sat there and said, open gas, but you need to start talking to say gas with some lawyers and therapists. And the case in Columbia, South Carolina, about the rich white man that did this, or being a psychiatry of his wife, it's in the actual federal court case. It's about that. Psychiatric Association states that they can be sued and they need to be uh, um, a level and depth of extreme punitive levels of emotional abuse, political abuse, psychiatry, psychology, emotional abuse, and abuse of power. And then on top of that, behavioral health levels of intervention should have been done. They should have been interviewing and, and then they did not do their job. So there needs to be a level of SC code 1710 proceedings that need to be held based on those grounds. And Don from Columbia, South Carolina, where his mother, Monica Tumor Allison, they should be involuntary committed for all their emotional abuse, torments, and gaslighting. And then the levels of provoking gaslighting and egregious levels of misconduct that they carried on from Georgia, Florida, New York, and California, where he's now residing with his new slut. I'm ready to go to court over all of that. I want you all to understand Coach CC is not in the mood for any more of his abuse advice and antics. I'm not going to go through this anymore. I'm ready to go to court with the Lake News Center. I want to level of lawsuits and then, uh, what's her name? Carissa Morales, who changed in my house, the officer needs to be terminated. Dan Patrick, that was a DEA agent on 91, 93 cases, 94 cases. I'm ready to go to court. I'm ready to go to war with them over this. I told y'all that they crossed the line that they can't come back from. And messing up with another one of my lives and doing this mess is the reason why I'm going this far. And I told y'all I'm not going through this anymore. So Task Force 6, that new John David Allison, Ken Penny, Ken Copeland, John, Joe Nathan, Joe, John Avery, that bloody garbage said he sat there on Instagram. Some of Joe Nathan, we did it, Joe. Yeah, we're going for it. We're going to court because she's going to go down here threatening me on uh, your nasty husband. And by some self said and done, I'm ready to go to court. And then task force tip, you need to explain how Sabrina is Big Meech's uh, ex-girlfriend, the same one that you end up snitching on, and he went to jail. Then you can explain how you sat there and was raping Sabrina and doing all this stuff for all these years. So, Zani, you want to get that issue? You want to get that fade? Why don't you fade your father? Why don't you ask him about how his daughter sat there and talked about her neck was hurting after he sat there and brought her some juice and she woke up with her neck sore. So this is funny to play these nasty games. So, Zonique, you want to play clout games? Let me tell you something. Resume, you want to cut people's head off? You mean Toya Baby, Toya Wright Johnson, Red 504-88 is uh, Faith Evans' cousin. So now you understand that I'm not playing any more games with you. I'm going to play with Task Force Tip and his whole wife. So you want to get that fade? You can get that issue we're looking for, Sonny. Trust and believe. I don't like you or Radame. Ratatouille's daughter. Resume, Carter. Resume Carter, so Dr. Heavenly, you said you don't turn your resumes? Resume doesn't have a resume. She's never been working. A little Wayne is the one that got the pardon, pardon from uh, President Trump. Now I see why, because Carter was nine. And he's been an informant, five-star snitch. Brian Birdman, Baby Williams used to date Angela Gaines Grassy. The same one as Victoria Grassy Gaines. Gaines Grassy. Larry Grassy's wife. I'm not playing with Adrian Kim Grassy Wells Rogers. Rogers, well, John Rogers, D- Jason's partner. 
So the police, the police department were pressing out. Like I said, Officer 54, he said, you want to take her to jail? No, you don't. You're going to get that issue you're looking for. So Officer 54 needs to be terminated. Anybody else got any questions about how far Jason went with this? And Tasha Transmini TV, you interviewed T.Y., the same one who's loving up uh, Miami, same one who's Cello's baby daddy. I'm ready to go to court over all of it. Because what I don't like is being toyed with. What I don't like is being provoked and gaslit. What I don't like is death threats. What I don't like is threatening my daughter. What I don't like is a miserable, nasty whore and her son out there in California asking for news to my daughter and threatening to kill me and threatening to kill my daughter or threatening to kill my mom and she didn't give news. So I'm ready to go to court. Receive the audio working on Twitter. And there's such thing as psychiatric abuse. There's two bits of these wrong. So it looks like Jack Patrick Dorsey's out again with his DevOps and his nasty narco friends, the Cardinal. So didn't somebody say on YouTube it's beyond the internet? By the time I see the breaks off the shit breath dirty bitch, she'll understand what it means. I'm sick of her shit. I wanted to document it on this talk radio that these lives continue to be messed up from DevOps and Dick, the provoking and the gaslighting and the continued obstruction of justice and the levels of emotional abuse and tormenting and the gaslighting, bullying, and harassment that they keep up. At this point in time, I'm ready to go to civil court, county court, criminal court, and family law court for obstruction of justice, emotional abuse. And then on top of that, the continued levels of harassment, bullying, and terrorism that they keep up. I'm ready to go to court over every last bit of it. And then on top of that, I'm re- restitution. Then on top of that, I'm not going to be punitive, detained. I'm not going to be psychologically, emotionally abused. I'm not going to be tormented and gaslit. 